Lucas Barbosa is one year older. Ito Babalaidze is the taller fighter. He weighed in a pound heavier as well. Both men with a 73 inch reach on the arms. Slight one inch advantage on the legs for Ito Babalaidze. Josh Rutgers will oversee our final bout of the evening here on Challenger Series Week 1. Barbosa in the black trunks, Itzo in the gray. Right hand behind the left hook from Itzo and then the leg kick. Lucas immediately goes to the clinch up against the cage. Nice knee, short, sharp knee from Hulk. Abaloitze doing a good job of getting those underhooks. Not allowing Lucas to quite pin him up against the cage. He's got some space there where he can turn Barbosa. Last time we saw Itzo Babalaitze in a showcase bout for the PFL, he fought a grapple. Now, he was not a multiple time Brazilian Jiu Jitsu world champion, but Mahmoud Sebi was an Egyptian Olympian in Greco Roman wrestling. And it seemed like his game plan was to take Itzo down. That fight ended in a first round TKO by Itzo. That's right. And what we learned about Itzo is he's not going to fold. You know, he dealt with some adversity. He knows how to come back and stay composed. Hard knee there from Barbosa. Barbosa, when we talked to him earlier this week in the fighter meeting, said, Look, I love sparring. I like to stand and throw hard punches. I'm not afraid of doing that. He's already shown us some here in the first round. Yeah, he said he's been working a lot on his striking. He's feeling way more comfortable on the feet. And he's going to need those strikes to open up the takedown. Oh, looks like he ran into a head, a little headbutt there by Itzo on, on Barbosa. Barbosa trying to egg Itzo Babalaitze on, encouraging oh. a couple of one-two punches, but now he's got the Georgian to the ground. And this is not where Itzo wants to be underneath the Jiu-Jitsu world champion. Yeah, no question about it. Barbosa, an absolute beast, especially from this top position. This is where he has really made his mark in the Jiu-Jitsu world. Again, five-time world champion, Gi, no Gi. Wiz Khalifa, we saw some nice patience there from Barbosa. Now he's got half a round to work from this top position. Yeah, Ito was trying to uh, keep it on his feet, uh, as he should. And now we got Lucas doing what he's doing. He's going to try to get him on the ground and, you know, do some jujitsu and, you know, really do his thing. He was eating a lot of punches, but now he's down there doing his thing. So we'll see what happens. We don't know much about the guard of Ito Babalaidze, but he talks about being comfortable in every grappling situation. Yeah, and Daniel Gracie is his instructor. And he has said that Ito has been a great student over the years, has learned a lot in a short amount of time. Hulk trying to throw some big punches from the top, selecting them. There's a left that sneaks over the guard of Ito. Yeah, and Sean, you see this top position here. See this top position here by Barbosa. He's keeping his head right in the sternum of Itzo, which is making it very difficult for Itzo to attack with submissions and get back to his feet. Itzo's mostly elected to keep his guard closed and try and isolate an arm to prevent this kind of ground and pound from Hulk. Tyron Woodley, Barbosa got it to the ground. He hasn't attacked the submission or really even attempted to pass guard yet. He, it looks like he's enjoying this ground and pound. Well, we know Barbosa's going to be very comfortable on the ground, but Iso's doing a great job of trying to maintain that posture and trying to get it to a stalemate position where he can get back on his feet and get it back popping like he had it. Right now, I think Barbosa's just taking his time. He may be recovering a little bit to try to explode to a submission or explode when they get back to their feet. Now, Babalaitze trying to walk his hips back to the cage, see if he can climb, get some elevation. Yeah, Barbosa was just a little bit too low on the hips, and it allowed Babalaitze 
to get a little bit better posture. He's posting that arm on the mat so he can sit up. But Barbosa doing a good job of tying up that leg. We've seen Habib Nurmagomedov do that very well to try to take away that get up from his opponent. Final 10 seconds of this first round. Lucas Barbosa with the top position for about three minutes. And round two when we return. Welcome back, PFL Challenger Series fight fans to Fubo TV. Sean O'Connell, Kenny Florian, cage side. Inside the cage, Lucas Barbosa in the black trunks. And Itzo Babalaitse in the gray. Barbosa spent most of round number one on top. Some nice ground and pound. No real submission attempts from the former Jiu-Jitsu world champion. What do you need to see here in round two, Kenny? You know, for, for me, I'd like to see Barbosa really trying to work his way around the legs of Babalo. He'd say, try to get to side control or mount. That's where he can really mount his offense with his jiu-jitsu and look for a submission. You know, I think he was probably trying to tire out Babalo Itse in round one, and then later on bring the pressure and attack with some submissions. When you hit, when you land, you circle Wiz, we had a great fight in our co-main event. What do you need to see in this main event to convince you that one of these guys deserves a contract? Um, I need to see a, a real good finish. Uh, Ito calmed it down against the jiu-jitsu, but um, that's all that's really happening. It's, it's cool. I like it. You know, it's a good fight, but we need a little bit. You know, we need a good finish. Ray Lewis, you're part of our celebrity panel. What do you need to see from Ito in the Hulk? Look, man, I think Ito is the hell in his own ground right now, seriously. Barbosa wants to get him to the ground. He he pretends like he won a fist fight, but Iso, it looked like his body movement. He can never just dial in and just target him. So Iso right now, I'm telling you, I'm, I'm favoring him right now. Tyron, there's a big swing and a miss from Hulk. What can Iso do, or the Hulk, to try and get your ball? I'm gonna need Iso to just continue to do what he's doing. Avalanche of punches from long range. He get closer to those hooks, the takedown's gonna come. Barbosa was trying to gather himself. He was trying to rest. You gotta respect his jujitsu. So he was able to rest in that position. Now he needs to step on the gas pedal and look like he wants that contract. Ian Parker, how are you feeling about the pick halfway down? I'm feeling good for Ito. He's just got to stop the takedowns. It's demoralizing when you can't get it to the ground for a jiu-jitsu champion. He's just throwing haymakers. It's predictable. He sees it coming. Ito's got the cardio. He's just got to stay away from the takedowns, keep it on those combinations. I think the underdog's going to hit in this one. Ito with an excellent sprawl there. Barbosa trying to move around in the back, though. Shoots and reshoots. Ito now spreading those legs, trying to prevent Hulk from controlling his hips against the barrier. One thing I can't get over, Lucas Barbosa is a heavily muscled welterweight, and Itzo Babala Itze, at least visually, drops him. I know. He is enormous. Absolutely, that's what was so surprising at the weigh-ins. Barbosa looking for this takedown now, but Itzo doing a good job keeping those legs spread. He's got a good base. Babala Itze has been more aggressive this round on the feet. Barbosa has done a good job shelling up with his guard. I'd like to see him attack the body of Barbosa, just trying to slow him down. Back to their feet as Bobby Laidze is able to negate the multiple takedown attempts there. You can see that took a lot of gas out of the tank from yeah. both men. Good leg kick there from Itzel. And it seems like it's taking more of an effect on Barbosa, who really has slowed down here. Well, I'll tell you, having fought in a fight like this, it, you feel good coming out of those grappling exchanges when you didn't get taken down. When you're the guy trying to get the takedown, Kenny, yeah. you don't feel so good when that grappling exchange ends. Yeah, absolutely, there's a great calf kick that is also gonna take great effect on that lead leg. Nice right hand snuck through the middle there for itself. Now those punches are starting to sneak around that shelling guard of Barbosa. Left hook landed and then Barbosa tries to come in on behind it. Yep, Barbosa has a nice single here. Let's see if he can create an angle. Itzo with a nice sprawl. Could be difficult because Barbosa has to deal with that cage. Now he's trying to stand up, trying to get an angle on it. Nice job by Barbosa. Now locking hands. 
Good work here Itzel. again from Itzel. Wow, Man. great strength, good hips. Absolutely beautiful sprawl there. And he's sticking with what works, Kenny. He's just throwing that one-two right down the pipe, making Barbosa answer for it. Absolutely, he's found a lot of success with it. He's keeping it simple, and he has come back into this fight. I have it one round of peace here, Sean. Another one-two, and then a front kick from Itzo. Hulk misses with a big one. Third round next. Lucas Barbosa in the black trunks, Itzo Babalaitse in the gray. Kenny has it at one round apiece. This could be the deciding round. And remember, this is the fourth of four fights tonight. Eight fighters all vying for one invitation in a PFL contract. Not only do you have to beat your opponent, you gotta beat the other three winners on the card. That might require a finish in this one, especially after the action we've seen tonight. Yeah, Barbosa just not pushing off the floor the way he wants. I think that lead leg of Barbosa is very badly compromised, and there's another kick to make things a little bit worse. Itzo goes to the one-two again, follows it up with a kick. And you can see the Georgian really pouring it on here in the early part of round three. He knows, he understands the assignment, so to speak. Kenny Florian, he knows that he's got to impress the celebrity panel, he's got to impress the fans at home. He's got to impress Ray Seffel potentially to get the invitation. Yeah, I mean, both fighters being aggressive here. Barbosa continues to press forward. He's looking for big shots himself. Itzo being a little bit more precise, though. More punch combination for Itzo. Barbosa able to close the distance again, grab a hold of the Georgian. There's a hook in the right hand this time. Lucas definitely has to pop in that right hand. He just has to be careful to not throw himself off balance like that. He's gonna run into a counter shot. Another nice one-two from Itzo. That right hand keeps sneaking through the guard of Lucas holding Barbosa. But the Brazilian appears to be willing to keep eating them. And Luke is showing a lot of toughness. I know that lead leg has really been taking a beating. Hasn't been a ton of kicks, but they've been very hard and very accurate. There's a takedown from Itzo. Interesting strategy here for Itzo Babalaite, who's winning the striking battle, potentially needs a finish, and he takes down the Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu world champion. I think he sees that Lucas is very tired. Also, Barbosa has amazing jiu-jitsu, but more well-known for his top game. He's trying to work a half-guard sweep here. Itzo trying to tire him out, trying to land some ground and pound. Is Itzo trying to prove a point right now, beating the ground fighter on the ground? Very well be. Here's a nice leg attack here from Barbosa. Trying to set up an inside heel hook. I think that's the way to go. 50-50 now. Oh, it's very tight. Itzo trying to control the head. Able to get that foot out of danger temporarily here. Wiz Khalifa, what do you think of the strategic decision to initiate this grappling by Itzo when he was winning that striking? He was crushing him on the, on the I mean, stand up, so I don't know why he went to the ground. Like I said, he might be trying to prove a point. He might be trying to sharpen himself up down there. He's he's got uh he's got Lucas tired. He's really tired. He's really gassed. So we'll see what happens. Hon Listen, guys. Honestly, I think it was Iso's strategy. Barbosa is tired. If you see him, he don't have legs. So to take him to the ground right now, I think Iso. I think it was a smart strategy. I really do. Tyron Woodley, would you have done the same thing? I would have not done the same thing. Iso already had him broken a little bit. He stopped him two or three takedowns in the round before. He was hitting him with the straight punches. He was gassing him out. This is a pride thing. He wanted to show he's taking down, or either he was just constantly in the flow and did a takedown, because that's the way we drill. That's the way we train. But now he's putting him back in the fight. A minute is an eternity for a world champion judicial player. Oh, there's a beautiful sweep from Barbosa. Ian Parker, is your pick in danger with Barbosa on top on the ground? 
No, sir, because if he couldn't do it in round one when they weren't sweaty, when he had cardio, he's not doing it now. Ito, even off bottom, is more active, saving in that first round. Now, I don't necessarily agree with the takedown, but I understand why uh -oh. he's doing it. You know, Barbosa's legs were tired. I still think Ito's got it. 40 seconds left. I still got Ito. This, this is one of his best positions right here. Barbosa has a nasty arm triangle. He's starting to move into mount. Let's see if he can pry those arms away from the head and set up an arm triangle. It's there. He's trying to set it up. All the way to the mount. Lucas holds Barbosa with 20 seconds to make something happen late. And remember, it was probably around the piece heading into the third here, so how much does finishing on top oh. influence the judges? This is huge. I think this was a, a huge comeback from Barbosa. This fight could go either way. Final few seconds, the Hulk finishes on top, and we'll get another decision from the judges. After three rounds, we go once again to the judges' scorecards. The scores read 29-28, 29-28, and 30-27. All for your winner by unanimous decision, Itzo Babula Itze.